Aries, welcome to Illuminated Tarot. My name is Jenna. Today we're going to be doing reading for you for mid-month of September through mid-month of October. I'm going to be doing um, a Celtic cross for you today. So I have yet to do this on um, air, so to speak, uh, pre-recorded of course, but I'm really excited to bring this to you. This spread is near and dear to me. I only do it with a particular deck, of course with the, the initial cards, and then I clarify with other decks you may have seen. But we're going to get into it today. We're going to take a look at what's going on for you, Aries. We're also going to be ending the reading with the Mystical Shaman Oracle. We're going to get some animal totem messages to support the reading. So this will be a little bit more in-depth than some of my other readings. Right now I've been focusing on past, present, future love readings. And every mid-month I'm going to try to bring this in where we'll be looking at more of a particular overview of what's happening for the month. And I like to get into the mid-month because, you know, we've kind of already kind of gotten settled into a particular month. And I just prefer to doing mid-months over the beginning of the month for these sorts of things. So let's get started, Aries. Welcome. Okay, Spirit. Feeling a quickening. I want it to like shuffle faster. Maybe you're feeling impatient about something. for the reading we've got some healing going on something around a love connection some meaningful connection for you Aries and we've got a lot going on in this connection don't we we're going to talk about it all right so the reason for the reading what has brought you here today is the four of swords now the four of swords can talk a lot about needing rest needing to heal needing to work on coming back to self. I'm also feeling that I've just got a ringing in my left ear. Um, usually that indicates with the left side, um, something outside of you, an external energy that is kind of knocking at your door. So maybe you are trying to push something away. I mean, we have this devil energy too. We'll get into that, but I just feel like you're really starting to call on your own strength. You're trying to push through something. And it does have to do with this crossing energy, the challenge energy is, um, could be someone from your past, but it's, it's someone that you've had um, either a history with um, as far as a past life or a history with currently. You know, there's a lot of historical data, all right, around this person and your time with them. So we'll get into what all of that means moving forward. Now, at the bottom here, we have what you're focusing on. So it looks like right now, what you're focusing on, Seven of Wands Aries, is creating boundaries. I feel like that is becoming um, of great importance. So you can really claim your own inner space and work on yourself. And sometimes that does require you sh shutting out other energies. Okay, that's why I felt like this is energy that's coming at you. Maybe that wants your attention. Maybe you're just said, you know, enough is enough. Okay, so we'll take a look at that too. That is something that you're really focusing on right now is, you know, I need to create boundaries. I'm standing up for myself. I'm defending my position. Recent past, we have the eight of pentacles. So you've been hard at work. Maybe you've been hard at work at moving on, you know, at um, pushing an energy away that, you know, um, isn't serving you right now. When we um, look at the upper quadrant, we are looking at your strengths. So it looks like right now you, you're coming from a place of knowing what's right and wrong. More than ever, I think you have clarity around what's right and wrong for you. And as hard as that is to enforce, you're doing it. You're doing it because, you know, when we're reading the cards, we're looking at what you're focusing on and what, what the strength that you're using, right, to enforce that. So... It's, it's the right thing to do. So when you know it's the right thing to do, it's not as hard to do, yeah? So your near future, we have the nine of wands. So it's, it's difficult. I think that this is not an, it's, it's a strength of yours, right? To put up boundaries and to know what serves you and what doesn't, but it doesn't mean it's easy, right? To 
deny something in your life that maybe you have a strong emotional attachment to. I'm sensing you have a strong emotional attachment to something, but you know that it perhaps may not be very healthy for you. Because when we come over here and we look at your suggested approach to this whole experience, is you're recognizing that it is unhealthy. Whatever this is, especially around this connection and its history, it's unhealthy. What you need to know is Ace of Cups is you are opening up to a more loving place in general, I feel. And that's imperative right now moving forward, what I'm hearing. It's imperative that you keep your heart open moving forward and that there will be other opportunities around love if you just keep continuing to do the work on healing, okay? Hopes and fears, we have the King of Swords. So I think that you are hoping that you can remain balanced here between you know op keeping your heart open and also becoming, I think, more relaxed around who you are, coming from a more balanced approach in your mental process. I feel like it's you're 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 fearing that you're not going to be able to come from logic here, and you know taming that inner monster, right? Potential outcome, the emperor. I love to see this. This is you, Aries, really becoming empowered. You know, standing up at the top of your throne and claiming, you know, your rightful place as a leader, right? And knowing how to serve in this world. Okay, this is your future. Okay, becoming your your greatest potential. Right. All right. Let's clarify. So. This looks like a very stable like reading, but it does have a lot to do, I feel, with a connection that's very important to you. Whether it's currently going on or you are just going through a rough patch with someone. Let's see. I'm going to take a look at this Four of Swords. This Four of Swords. Show me the reason for the reading. Why are you healing? What is this healing about? Why do you need to work on healing? Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups. We've got a lot down the Six of Cups, I'm telling you. I think you have someone, maybe they're making an attempt to come back. Because, and it's, it's fast. It's like out of nowhere this person is coming back. I really strongly sense that you've got someone who maybe feels like they made a mistake. Um... It is, it is a strong, strong soul tie. I mean, we've got two six of cups on the table here. And whenever you have knights coming at you, it's an external energy. So you've got someone who wants to just drive completely fast towards you, offering their cup of love. There's a deep feeling of a nostalgia with this person. A very, very strong attachment. And I, I feel like your hesitation, you know, like because you're like, I've been healing from this. I'm focusing on myself, I'm in a better place, and now they're coming back, and they're telling me everything I want to hear, maybe. But there is a strong sense of, I don't know. I don't know. Let's get into this Six of Cups. Let's clarify. What is this connection about? Show me, Spirit. Please show me. What is this Six of Cups? This strong memory. You have so many memories with this person. They mean a lot to you. Hell of a lot. Man, two six of cups. Whoa. Okay. We're going to put these back because that is way too many. Usually when cards start flinging, it's just there's a lot of competing energies here. So maybe you've got a lot of thoughts just competing with each other right now. Sometimes you're like, I don't. maybe I want to go toward this. Other times you're like, no, I shouldn't. Six of cups, king of swords, the lovers, the king of cups. I'm sorry, King of Swords. Did I say that? So over the um, crossing energy, what's crossing you? This attachment, right? This emotional attachment, this emotional bond. I just saw 111. Someone wants a new beginning with you, Aries. And I'm getting goosebumps. Um, I think they're making that very clear to you. If they're not doing it, they are going to be doing it during um, this period of time. And they have a lot of uh, strong emotions for you. And I think they're coming back in a more balanced place. Um, you know, they're trying, they've, they've learned, I guess, you know, what I'm saying They're I'm saying, I guess, because you're not sure, but they're saying that they've learned, they've grown since you last 
connected on, in this deep, meaningful way. And they understand that in order to come to you now, that they do need to come from a more balanced place because maybe in the past they really weren't showing up from that place of really putting, opening their heart and being open-hearted and showing you how they feel and also telling you how they feel, what they think about you, what they want for the future. It's like they're clear now, but they're coming in so fast that you're like, whoa, like I've been over here doing my thing. Yes, I've missed you, but I've been healing from this and I'm not sure if this is just all pretty words, right? What you're thinking? Or if this is really something that you can trust. Let's see this because <laughs> your position right now, I'm telling you, is what you're focused on is you're defensive. You're defensive about around this person because I think they hurt you. What are these boundaries? Yeah, I knew it. Death, strength, page of pentacles. Yeah, it. you had to be very strong to end this or walk away from this or, you know, it took a lot of strength for you to walk away from this person in the past because I think that they weren't really, they were, they were being immature. They were showing up in a very immature way throughout your relationship. The inconsistency. You're worried that they're, it's just going to perpetuate and it's going to stay the same, you know, and that's the risk that you take when you have a, someone from the past. We're in a retrograde period. Now, a lot of planets are in retrograde. A lot of us are revisiting past attachments. And it doesn't mean that the potential isn't there for things to change, but you got to be realistic with really realistic with the historical data and the attachment. And have you both done enough healing so you don't bring the past crap in? And do you even want to try again? You know, do you think that you'll have a better future with someone new, you know, who you haven't gone through this with? But with two six of cups, I mean, that's that's a really hard attachment to shake, right? Between the memories and the soul tie. But I'm telling you, you are digging deep because the, the ending of this is what's in the forefront of your mind. It's informing you to be weary, to be careful, be cautious, Aries. You know, it took you so much to walk away from this person. Do you really want to put yourself in the position to open up to them again? All right, let's keep moving on. Let's look at this recent past as Eight of Pentacles. That's, you know, looking at something and, and going, you know, I put so much work into this. And I think this has a lot to do with your relationship here. You put a lot of time and energy into this relationship, maybe too much time. And you didn't, you know, you didn't get that return in the past on everything you invested in this. And I'm sensing that it all kind of fell apart at one point. Let's see. Eight of Pentacles. Oh, what am I doing here? <laughs> I grabbed it. <laughs> I'm so like, woo, I grabbed the wrong deck here to clarify. You know what? No, we're going to do, I just, I'm, we're going to clarify just with that. You know, there are no mistakes here. Spirit must have wanted me to grab that deck. That's so wild. We're going to clarify this. We're going to go non-traditional here. They want a clean deck here. This eight of pentacles here. Two of swords, six of swords, the fool. Yep. In the past with this person, you... You were very open-hearted. You felt like a little bit of a fool. You know, at the end of the day, you know, you had to move on. You know, it, there was there was a lot of troubling times and you were under a great deal of illusion, um, I think, regarding who this person is. So despite putting a lot of hard work and effort in the past into this person, I think that they, you know, in a way, there was a lot of trickery, a lot of foolery, I'm hearing. You know, like you felt a little bit, fooled by their intentions. Um, maybe they were, were a bit of a mask, you know? And once you saw through that, that maybe they were operating, operating more from ego, you were like, I gotta move on from this. Like, this isn't really what is healthy for me. So I think you, you did successfully move past this person. Wow, this is very interesting. What's this justice? I think they're coming back. They want me to shuffle one last time here for this justice card justice. Uh, this is your strengths. You know, you, you're knowing right, right from wrong. Whoa, you're knowing right from wrong. Let's clarify this. The Empress, the Hermit. 
And the Queen of Wands, Aries, damn. <sighs> God, I love Celtic Cross. It's just a favorite read. I just love it. It's beautiful. I'm telling you, you know your worth. I think you've taken enough time to really go inward. You've gone through a process. I think that this person left your life and this relationship ended. You've gone through a really deep phase of transformation and growth. And it's like you've got your groove back, you know? Like you got your mojo back. I think this person really depleted you in the past. And now that you kind of came back to who you are, you're like, man, I'm not gonna lose that again. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm feeling another goosebump confirmation. You're like, nah. As much as I'm attached to this person, like, you're not certain that they've done the growth, right? You're not certain. And that comes in time, like, but opening that door, there's a risk there, right? A very big risk of repeating past mistakes, repeat, not, re, you know, repeating, um, not learning the lessons. So what is the lesson here? What is the lesson here? Because we have your suggested approach here, which is knowing that it's unhealthy, like keeping this awareness with you, like keeping your wits, right? about you. This is an unhealthy attachment and I think you're very well aware of that, that this person is probably unhealthy for you, that it was a toxic bond. Maybe it was a trauma bond, Aries. And you've had to heal for the most part from that. Mm, these trauma bonds are hard to shake, especially in the times in which we live. Yeah, there's a lot of grief. Woof, yeah. <sighs> Damn. So you're having to be strong right now. You're having to recognize and remember. Let's not get clouded judgment here because that happened in the past and you learn from that. Remember the grief. Remember what they put you through. Remember the feelings that it conjured. Remember the tower. You had a tower moment with this person because they were in and out. It was an inconsistent energy. This is the tall tail, tall tail? Yeah, tail, tall. I can't talk today. Um, retrograde gives me all tongue tied, but the signs are here. The signs are here. Trauma bond. Trauma bond. Okay? Remember that. When you're like all waxing poetic about the beauty of your love and how much you feel for them and how deeply you love them and how much you gave your heart to them. Remember. Trauma bond. They put you through hell. A lot of grief. You know? A lot of sadness. Even a depression that maybe you went into when this ended. Whenever this was. This could have been years ago. Months ago. I'm hearing weeks ago. But it, it took its toll, is what I'm hearing. It took its toll on you. Don't remember, don't forget that. So that's your strength. Do not forget that. Do not forget this tower, okay? And how impulsive they are and how, how much drama they caused and how much grief that it created. All right, let's move on. Oop. I keep forgetting where to go. <laughs> I get excited about the Celtic cross because it's such a beautiful spread. All right, so now, whoa, what you need to know, what you need to know is what is next. They all fell out here. What you need to know. Yep. It's very clear here, you know, we're here again, repeating pattern. We have the seven of wands. What you need to know, you, your heart is precious, okay? Your heart is a precious, precious thing, okay? You need to protect it. You need to protect your beautiful heart, Aries. Okay? Right here. What we saw here, it's here as well. What we saw and uh, what you're focusing on, being, being guarded, having your boundaries up, defending your position, defending your heart, protecting your heart. Okay? I really feel like it's so clear. This reading is so clear. Protecting your heart. Okay? not falling prey to an illusion, seeing the truth clearly, right? You are an independent person now. Do you want to maintain this independence? Really think about, does this person make you feel like you can keep your independence intact? Or are they going to suck you down into drama lane? All right, let's look at your hopes and fears, Aries. Hopes and fears. King of Swords trying to be more logical about the situation. Page of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, the world. I think you are you know that this cycle ended. You're hoping that the universe is bringing you a positive experience here. Um, 
I can't help but think that you're hopeful that this new beginning could potentially be a reboot, a restart with this person, and it will be the outcome that you always wanted with them in the past, which is a healthy, happy relationship. Now, I'm not here to say that that's impossible, but you need to discern. They're coming in showing you, I've changed. I'm healthier now. I've learned. Has enough time passed? You know, take a look at too at, um, I did a recent Instagram post, uh, all the links are in the description box for where you can find my Instagram links, but around five signs that your relationship is struggling and whether you should fix it or end it. And I think that those are really good indications of whether two people are really willing to work through some of the things that can come up in a bond that make it toxic, that make it unhealthy, okay? A lot of that comes down to your communication styles and have you both done the healing work. Have they done a lot of healing work? You know, take your time. You know, if they want to ask you out, you know, maybe just meet for coffee and just have a talk with them and see how it feels. You know, in the past, I, I had someone long ago that, you know, we had a really horrible time together. <laughs> like we loved each other deeply, but it didn't go well. And years later, we met up for a cup of coffee because we both, I think, were curious if there's anything there. You know, it's still kind of lingering, like, you know, I mean, we're talking years have passed since things had ended and we were both single at the time and we met up and it was like we were completely different people. And the vibe felt really like, not even like, you know, it was cool, we met up, but it was like, you know, this isn't, You, I knew, I knew when I met with them. You know, trust your intuition. If you do get together with them, you, have a, you are starting a new cycle. Whether you wanna bring in somebody new or you want them to return, that is up to you but really use your discernment moving forward. Okay, Aries, you know, because you have a lot to protect, really analyze the situation from a place of clarity, not from a romanticized place. Okay. Cause that will get you in trouble every time you know who you are. Okay. You've done a lot of work on yourself and don't discredit that. All right. So if you want to meet up for coffee, you know, you'll know, you'll really know when you see them. I think, you know, at least in my case, because I had done enough work on myself to not really let the past, romanticism be at play coming together with them and coming from a place of like treat them as if you would any potential suitor right really like evaluate and have that boundary up you know you're def you're definitely going to have like feelings come up that will be deeper around them seeing them again but hopefully you're going to have such a strong sense of self intact that it will be easier to tell right it will be easier for you to to know which way to go but an opportunity is coming wow yeah it's clear Aries I think that even if I think there's a part of you that that wants to entertain this person again that would love for things to be different but with the future outcome here you're standing strong you're standing strong Aries I think you realize that this person is someone that you need to walk away from because they're they're only going to leave you feeling restricted, bound, you know, an, an unhealthy attachment, sacrificing of self, not be able, being able, you know, thinking that you can't break free, you know, being chained, right? I think right now you really want stability and security and you know that this person's unstable for whatever reason they're unstable the way they show up. So Aries, I think this is clear. If there was a, any doubt about an ex returning and what you should do, in the coming month um be very careful with this person okay just be very careful because i i'm sensing that maybe they have done some growth and they've changed and they want to offer you a new beginning but just because you have an emotional attachment to somebody doesn't mean that they're meant to be in your life you know especially if it was unhealthy in the past you know people are exes for a reason right and when there's a lot of water under the bridge that 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 water doesn't recede quickly and usually one trigger will set the whole crescendo off too much baggage yeah too much baggage but maybe enough time has passed meet him for coffee see how you feel but keep your boundaries up okay aries if you want some advice around that jesus I'm telling you what i'm jittery i i tried to get off coffee <laughs> and i had a cup before this read and i'm like whoo so yeah, coffee is uh man, it's a hard habit to break, isn't it? Okay. Ooh, I had a feeling, I had a feeling because 
I saw this first thing when I was, I shuffled before this reading. You're the first uh, Celtic cross I'm doing for the month. And I saw this coyote and I'm like, damn, this, this coyote is going to show up a lot today. Look how beautiful that coyote is. Let's see, number 12. Okay, the coyote. Oof, this is good. We're going to read the medicine of the coyote. Are you being seduced by what you think you desire? Could it be that the more superficial, sparkly, shiny aspects of your ambition led you in this moment? Perhaps you feel that in order to get what you desire, you have to compromise yourself, control others, or manipulate situations to ensure your goal is met. Coyote howls in the shadows to remind you that this may be a lesson too painful to learn. Beware the shallow waters right now. Something or someone might pre pretend to be deep, but that doesn't make them so. No matter how seductive their superficial traits and how beautiful or sparkly they appear, all that glitters will not turn up gold, no matter how many wishes you make to change that. All right, Aries, that's what I have for you for this month. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.